Hi everyone, and welcome to this presentation for setting up your firm folder in Tecla. My name is Jared Beeman, and I'm an application specialist on a concrete segment for Tecla structures. The main emphasis of building your firm folder and, and assigning that file location is that you can be more productive when you're in the drawing, um, when you're making reports, and when you're modeling. So all those places where you can see save as, um, you know, if you're modifying a concrete beam, or if you're loading up some drawing settings, you can put those all away so you can save them um, in your company folder and then you always have them readily available when you start Tecla. So in the model, for example, if I clicked on this slab, um, wherever you see a save as in Tecla, we can place those into our firm folder so we always have those options available. So if I wanted to have an elevated beam and slab, in my drop down list, I'd hit save as, so now I'd see that in my list. You can make your settings so I could add in 5000 psi um, concrete mixture. I'll save that again. Wherever you save those settings, whether it's in the model, in the drawing, or in the organizer, if you open up your model folder and go to the attributes section, here's where you can find those settings that are saved. So here I can see my elevated beam and slab pour and my elevated beam and slab. Um, pour.more file and that more file is going to contain those user-defined attributes that were in that setting so if I just go back into my model um, it'll memorize user-defined attributes here so if I wanted to save a comment or a user field um, to that setting you can do that as well so how Tecla is going to know how to connect to your firm folder is setting those um, setting that file location in a in an INI file um, and there's several different places where you can define that. And I'm going to go over a couple options that you can choose to do. So if we start our directory browser in the component catalog, um, it'll bring up this dialog screen. Um, and here's where we're going to access those INI files or initialization files where we can define um, our firm folder setting. So if you start Tecla Structures and you have the model open, um, if we pull up our advanced options, I'll just go to File, and we'll go to settings here and pull up advanced options. You can hit control E to get to that more quickly. If we didn't define it in those INI files, uh, we'd have to come in here every time um, and then define where we want that firm folder to be and then restart the model so then it can gather all those settings. But before we want Tecla to start, um, we want it to automatically gather that so you're ready to go once you're in the model. So to do that, First process, um, or one of the two ways I'll show you how we can set those advanced options um, are going to be the user settings, the INI file. And that's going to be settings that are just unique to um, you on your own personal computer. So in that directory browser, uh, we got the settings files over here. So the first one I'm going to look at um, is the user settings right here. So if I click on this, it's going to bring this um, file up. And this is where we are going to set those advanced options. So once you install Tecla, um, you'll have this notepad file available. Um, and it will have several, um, several uh, advanced options available in here um, where you can type your own in. Um, so what I had done is I removed that remark that was in front of set access firm. And then I just copied and pasted my file location. So the location I've selected um, is on my desktop. If you have several users in your organization, um, it's better to place that firm folder on a server so you can set your location here and others can be connected um, to all of your company settings. But I'm just using the desktop for my example. So once I set that um, XS firm setting here, um, now every time I start Tecla, it's going to bring all of that information into my model for me. Okay, so I pulled up the section in the uh, Tecla user assistance where there's more information about this user.ini file specifically. Um, and if you want to pause your screen here or go to this um, location, the Tecla user assistance, you can see where this file is exactly located. Um, one thing to note on this page is that um, there's a tip on here. It's talking about when moving to a new version of Tecla, you can use the migration wizard to automatically copy your user.ini file. So if you transition from 2017 to 2017 I this year, um, you can use that migration wizard to automatically take those settings in that INI file and automatically copy them over. 
So now that I've defined that file location in my user.ini file, let's open up Tecla and double check that that firm location is now saved every time I start Tecla. Okay, to double check this, you're going to press Control E or again go to the file menu, go to settings and then advanced options. In the left side, if you go to the file location section, and we'll just check that that firm location is saved there and we can see that's working. Let's do a quick example of how we then place those settings into our firm folder. Uh, in this example, I'll just go over um, some drawing settings that we're going to save that would be typical for a pore drawing like this one. So in this one, I've, show, I've shown uh, my pores one through four um, with a certain object appearance and then uh, pore mark annotation. Um, so I've got a different color for each, um, each pore. And then I, in my marks, I have um, what type of pore it is, um, the number, I have the mix in there, and then the volume with that pore. So I'll just go uh, double click into my general arrangement drawing settings. Um, and we can save this as our um, typical, it could be poor, typical sequence. I'll hit save as. Now that'll be available in this drop down there. So once that attribute is saved, let's open up the model folder and we'll go to the attributes folder. And then I'm just going to copy, I'll, I'll change this, uh, sort this by date um, so I can see those settings there. I'll just go ahead and copy those. Um, I'll exit out of Tecla and now I'll just go into my firm folder wherever I placed it. So here's my firm. I'll just go ahead and hit paste. That concludes the content for this presentation. So in this video we were able to define the firm location using that user.ini file and we were able to access that through the directory browser and that file is just one that's installed on your computer when you install Tecla structures. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we can set up our firm folder location using the model template. So in that video, you can learn how to make a model template as well as make that firm location just unique to the model. The advantage of that is that if you set it as a model-specific advanced option, um, it won't impact um, previous models that you created um, when you set that firm to just be model-specific versus a system setting. Uh, which may modify um, old projects if you were to change the files or modify them within your firm folder. If you have any other questions, please reach out to your local services team or check out the Tecla User Assistance. And thank you for watching.